On June 25th, I went out to my wife's uncle's cabin with some of the family. It's a very remote location. You have to travel about 70 kilometers down a network of logging roads, and then you have to switch into a side-by-side -side or ATV, and then you have to take a boat to get to the cabin. It's the only one on the lake. Yoki. Trust me, Yoki, I don't like this. <laughs> When we got to the cabin, we saw that a tree had fallen on the roof. It didn't do any damage, but Uncle Pat realized that a lot of the trees there were ready to come down. The area had been hit hard by bug kill in the past. And I let Yoki go off leash for the first time in her life. Normally, she's always on a long line. But I thought out here it's remote enough that I didn't have anything to worry about. And she spent most of the time trying to find whatever was living underneath the cabin. Did you literally just see the outhouse? She did spend a lot of time circling the perimeter and barking at anything she thought might be a threat to us. What do you, what do you see, Yogi? There's always upkeep at the cabin. This time we needed to replace boards on the dock. What are you? I've been really nervous about letting Yoki go off leash on this trip but she did get tired of the cabin and she wanted to wander off. This part was really hard for me, but I let her go and managed to make it 15 minutes before I went out whistling for her. She did come back and I learned that she deserves a lot more trust from me. Uncle Pat's a workaholic and this trip wasn't an exception, but he did manage to go out fishing once or twice. Most of the fish we threw back, but we did keep a few for eating. Ha, 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 ha. 